friends. Today I'm coming at you with my fat girl summer hacks. And of course I pick a really hot day to turn off my AC and film this video, but we're gonna get through it. I'm gonna try my best to not melt throughout this video, but if you see my mustache start to sweat, you know why. <laughs> okay, so the first topic I'm gonna talk about is chub rub. And chub rub is the bane of my existence. I think I'm gonna be the first person to ever die from chub rub. I feel like whenever three or more fat girls are in a room together, we are required by law to talk about our chub rub remedies. So I've picked up a few from other friends along the way, but I'm gonna start with my personal favorite is the Monistat Chafing Gel. This has been a favorite for years and it was a lifesaver when I was traveling through Europe. I had packed mostly dresses and I was walking a lot. So there was a lot of thigh friction going on. And thank God I had a little tube hanging out at the bottom of my purse. And I have no shame, so I will just pull up my dress in public and apply that to my thighs. It's needed, you know? I feel like I'm usually in a dire circumstance chafing wise. So I was like, I don't care, I'm putting this on. So. I like the Monistat Chafing Gel. It's a like gel to powder kind of thing. I put it right on my thighs and it's just like smooth sailing after that. So that is my personal favorite. My mustache is already sweating. I have also seen so many people rave about Mega Babe Thigh Rescue. So it's just kind of like a deodorant stick that you take the top off and then just rub on your thigh and then you're good to go. Um, I've heard so many good things about that. I've also heard amazing things about Body Glide. So a lot of athletes use Body Glide and I feel like if it works for an athlete, it's gonna work for a fat girl and our fat girl thighs. So similar to those, if you are really in a pinch, you can use a stick of deodorant. I find the powder ones work best. So another chub rub hack I learned from my friend Jamie is a body spray. So she uses the Gold Bond Triple Action Relief Body Spray. We were at the Curvy Con a couple years ago. I was wearing a dress and I was you know, complaining about chub rub as I usually do. And she's like, hold on, I got something for you. Opens her bag. It's like a deodorant bottle, and then you just spray it in between your legs. And again, I have no shame, so we are at the Kirby Con. I just open up my legs, <laughs> lift my dress up, and I'm spraying my like thighs. That's also a really good thing to use. Again, it kind of like dries as a powder, so you have that nice, no friction. So if the sticks and the gels aren't your thing, try the spray, because I feel like it worked really well. Okay, another thing I use for chub rub is bike shorts, and I used to like make my own bike shorts out of old leggings, and you know, it worked for a while, it was okay, but then I discovered these skimmies slip shorts from Jockey. I've only had these for maybe two months, and I'm like, how did I live without these? So they are Woo! So they're just little bike shorts. They are not shapewear, so these aren't gonna dig into you. They're not gonna roll over. They literally feel like you're wearing nothing, which is the whole purpose. It's summer. You don't wanna be wearing leggings under a dress. We are not Amish people. I hate when I see people in the dead of summer wearing leggings under a dress because one, that ruins the look. Two, you look really religious. Three, what was the whole purpose of wearing a dress if you're just gonna wear pants on underneath it? I wanna feel a breeze, you know? So I feel like shorts are the much better option and these truly feel like nothing. So you're not gonna feel constricted or anything. They wick moisture, they're cooling. I like these so much. I ordered three more pairs, so I have Four of these slip shorts, I wear them all the time. Um, they come in pink, nude, black. This pink is more of a nude for me though because Irish skin, but they are so comfortable. You're gonna forget you're wearing them and you can kind of adjust where on your thigh they're hitting. These are pretty long, but you can, you know, hike them up a little and they'll stay there and they'll stay there all day and all your chafing problems will be gone. So I cannot recommend these highly enough. I used to make my own bike shorts like out of old leggings when I was in a pickle and then I started buying regular bike shorts. So like the ones from Torrid are really good. Fashion Nova makes them, Forever 21, but those are specifically made for anti-chafing. So I really like those. Okay. Next topic, sweat, which I'm doing a lot of right now. So we are fat, we have a lot of rolls. We have more rolls and crevices than most people. So sweat gets trapped into these rolls. Bacteria love to live in these warm, dark places. That creates a smell and you don't wanna be the smelly kid. So my other hack is to always carry around baby wipes because again, we have more rolls, the sweat gets in the rolls, we gotta wipe it out. So, you know, under the boobs, between the thighs, stomach rolls. Just, you know, swipe every now and then, keep it fresh, keep it cool. So clean your rolls, they gather sweat. So I don't know about you, but my boobs sweat a lot. So I get a lot of under boob sweat and then it'll kind of come through my clothes. So that is not a look. 
you know, that I'm trying to go for. So I did find a few items that will help with boob sweat. So the first is the Tata towel. I ordered this maybe two years ago. I have yet to open it. If you want to see me try on the Tata towel, like this video, leave me a comment below and I will do a little first impression. But this is essentially a little towel. It goes over behind your neck and it's a little towel for your boobs to just kind of like hold them in, absorb the sweat. The woman who invented this lived in Los Angeles and she was like getting ready for a date and her boobs were sweating. So she just like whipped one up and it was like perfect. So I have yet to try it, but again, if you want to see it, I'll do it. But I think it's a good way to absorb sweat while you're still getting ready and stuff. And then at the final moment, put your clothes on. So Mega Babe also makes Bust Dust, which is a talcum-free powder that you can put on under your boobs. It'll absorb the sweat. And I was reading the reviews. They looked really good. A lot of them say they don't, um, you know, with, I feel like with baby powder, it'll kind of clump up. It'll be like a wet little white clump. They don't have that with the Bust Dust. All the reviews had really good things to say about that. And it'll just keep everything dry down there. And again, kills bacteria. There's some aloe in there, so it's soothing. So that's definitely Definitely something I want to try for the under boob sweat. Also, you can use it in your underwear, in your privates. Again, it's talc free. We do not want talc near our privates. Cancer is not very glowy. So when you're looking at powder products, look for talc free ones, just a lot safer. And then another company that makes something like this is Lush and they call theirs silky underwear. So again, you could put it on like your boob sweat, underarm sweat. It's another powder. You could put it in your underwear as the title says. And again, it's a lot more safe than, you know, the a baby powder. And again, this will absorb sweat and smells and keep you dry and comfortable down there. And up here. Okay, my next hack has something to do with spray tans. I got a spray tan by a human and I realized when I got home, I was like stretching or something that I was basically orange everywhere else, but under my boobs and on my back rolls. So when you get a spray tan, whether it be with a human or in a machine, kind of bend your body um, like I have back fat and I have back rolls. So I was just getting like surface area tan. So now I know the next time I go get a spray tan, I should kind of hunch my back over so it's really smooth. Cause when I stand up straight, I get the rolls. So I need to kind of like hunch over so it gets everything because I realized in certain positions it'd be like orange and then a stripe of white and then back to orange because it wasn't getting in my rolls. And a similar thing with your boobs. So if you have a human doing you, um, kind of be like, hey, let's do a few rounds where I'm like all the way like this or holding up your boobs just to get under the boobs really just depends on like the kind of swimwear or bras or who's going to be seeing what. Um, because for the most part, I don't need to be perfectly tanned, but it was very noticeable when I got home and I like, did one of these and I was just like, oh, white under boob. So make sure you either lift or have them just spray under here where your boobs are touching because it's a very obvious white area of your body. <laughs> You can also go back in yourself. I have this Neutrogena Micro Mist, like very easy spray under your boobs and like the uh, that part of your stomach that doesn't see the light of day for the most part, just to even things out a little bit. That's what I use. Okay, this next one isn't for just fat girls. This is for anyone who gets a period. Because it's summer, I feel like we're out and about a lot more, not being able to come home or visit the bathroom as often as we'd like. So when you have your period, I highly suggest the period cup. Yes, kind of weird that I'm touching this, even though it's been inside of me, but, um, I got one of these maybe eight months ago and I'm still kind of getting the hang of it. It's not the first time you use it. It's going to be a dream. It's going to take some getting used to, but I'm very happy I have this. We just went to the lake for a whole week and you spend basically your whole day floating in the lake. So if I was wearing a tampon, I'd have to keep coming out, changing it, coming back in. So a cup lasts you basically all day. You don't have to keep emptying it out. You can basically go your whole day. It's all just going to collect in here and it suctions to the inside of your vagina. So leakage isn't that bad. It does happen, but it's like not going to be like a tampon leak. So I cannot sing the praises for these high enough. Again, you're, it's going to take some getting used to, but these are so good for all day wear when you don't have access to a bathroom or if you know you're going to be somewhere for a long period of time. Like if you're going to a festival or a concert and you know you can't like really leave your spot, this is good for a long day. And again, this next one also isn't for just fat people, but it's something I picked up cheerleading. If you missed 
a day or two of shaving and it's not like a full bush on your legs um but you're like oh shit i put on a skirt today and i have to go to work and present something pop on some moisturizer on your legs i don't know what it is about the moisturizer but it'll give you like a nice sheen and it'll make the hair less noticeable so that's what we used to do in cheerleading because we'd be like oh i didn't shave for like a week we'd pop on some moisturizer wear our little skirts and we were fine Okay, and finally, we're just gonna talk about confidence. So it's summer, it's hot as balls. Let's not hide behind big baggy sweatshirts and big t-shirts, just things that are really constricting us, making us sweat even more just because we're a little self-conscious and want to hide our bodies. I remember back in seventh grade, I used to wear sweatshirts every day and it would be like June and like hot as balls and people were like, are you okay? And I'd be like, yeah, I'm cold all the time, which was a lie. I was just like so insecure about my body that I was just sweating bullets all the time just so people wouldn't see me. But I feel like wearing a sweatshirt in June makes people see me even more because I stuck out like a sore thumb. So stop hiding behind sweatshirts, wear what you want to. We only have one life. It's so funny looking back on all the years I hid behind things or didn't go swimming because I didn't want people to look at me. And I'm like, I sat in a car. I remember going to pool parties and sitting in the car while everyone else was having fun. Like go out, go swimming. People aren't gonna stop being friends with you based on what you look like in a swimsuit. No one cares. So don't care about showing skin. It's the summer, we're supposed to. Wear some sunscreen though. I've had melanoma, like let's not get cancer. And if showing skin isn't something you're super comfortable with, that's okay too. No one's forcing you to, you know, just go out in pasties. Body confidence is whatever you want it to be as long as you're comfortable and wearing what you want. If you wanna wear a one piece, if you wanna wear a big sarong, if you wanna wear a long sleeve scuba diving gear, like do it as long as you're comfortable and that's what you want it to wear and you're not hiding because of what people might think about you. And if you're having trouble with like body confidence and bikini confidence, look on Instagram. There's so many awesome fat women wearing and rocking awesome bikinis. Gabby Fresh, Natalie Means Nice. There's so many amazing plus size women rocking bikinis, bathing suits, one pieces, whatever. So if you're looking for a little confidence boost, just look at them being like, they're rocking it, I can rock it too. Okay, I am sufficiently sweating. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. Any product I mentioned will be linked down below. Again, I can't sing the praises high enough for Monistat, Mega Babe, Jockeys, Slip Shorts, like, we need these in our lives, not just in summer, but all the time. If you have any fat girl summer hacks, leave them down below in the comments. I would love to hear more. I'm sure other people would love to hear more because I'm positive I've missed some. So let me know your fat girl summer hacks down below. If you're new here, my name is Shannon. I do plus size fashion videos every Wednesday and some vlogs in between. I'm really happy you're here. So please hit that subscribe button so we can hang out again. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Do we see that? The mustache is sweating. I'm always wanting to hear more. I just squeeze like boobs. <laughs>